Well, hey there, friends. Welcome back to another Garden City Arts online program. My name is Miss Katie, and you are joining me for day two of our three-day workshop. Now, yesterday, we had fun making an alien cap. Okay, and remember, this is my take of an alien cat. Okay, I'm very curious what you all came up with. Now, at the end of that video, I had you guys prep two pieces of paper by painting one with warm colors and the other with cool colors. Now, this is going to be the start of our solar system. That's right, we're gonna explore even further into outer space today, and we're gonna make our own solar system. So, if you have, your two pieces of paper that have been primed and ready to go, then you are almost ready to get started. The other thing that you need is to grab your handy dandy art kit and pull out day two and pull out your biggest piece of black paper and your half sheet of watercolor paper. Okay, so those are the things that you will need to complete today's project. Now, this big, huge piece of paper is what we're going to use for our solar system. This white piece of paper is what we're going to use to draw out our spaceship. After all, we can't explore our solar system without a spaceship. And these two pieces of paper are going to be the base for our planets. Now inside bag, that inside the bag labeled day two, we have oil pastels. And oil pastels are one of my favorite things to use. They're super fun. They're kind of like crayons, but way better. So they have really rich, smooth texture. And they don't leave like white, cracks on your paper like crayons do. So these are the absolute best. And if I could just keep a hold of them, I'll show you. You have a whole bunch of colors to choose from. Now, remember this is warm colors and these are cool colors. I'm gonna keep with that idea and I'm gonna grab all of my warm colors that I see. Now pink is a warm color. Pink is basically just red with a little bit of white in it. So I know these are all warm and this peach is actually also a warm color because again, it's basically pink, just with even more white in it. So I'm gonna set these to the side, I'm gonna grab my warm colors, and then I'm going to make some fun lines. Now, I bet you know all about lines, and if you don't, you're gonna learn right now. So there are lots of types of lines. There are vertical lines that go straight up and down, there are horizontal lines that go from the side, so from left to right. And then there are also zigzag lines that are a bunch of diagonal lines put together. Okay, diagonal lines, they don't go up and down and they don't go side to side, they kind of go at an angle. Now I'm putting in all of these fun lines. You can think of a line, you could put that in as well. I'm gonna put in a spiral. Spirals are some of my favorite lines. And maybe some waves. And hmm, maybe some dashed lines. So lines that start and stop. They're not a continuous line. Hmm, what else do you think I need? I think I'm pretty good. I might just add some more spirals. And you know, I've only been using one color up to this point, so maybe I should change colors. But instead of doing lines, maybe I could do sh some shapes. So I'm gonna do a triangle or a circle. Now remember, yellow is kind of the wuss of the color wheel. He's not really standing out very much, is he? Nope. So maybe I'll switch to orange or pink. There we go, that pink stands out a little bit better. Once I have a whole bunch of lines and shapes and I've had fun being kind of random and making all sorts of marks, it doesn't have to be controlled. You could color it in a little bit. 
can have some fun, do more zigzags. Okay, once I've done that, I'm gonna go to my cool colors and I'm gonna do the exact same thing, but with my cools. So I have four cool colors. Okay, I have had a lot of fun marking these up. Now I'm ready to start cutting them into circles. Now, just like yesterday, um, you are going to need a pencil and a pair of scissors. Remember, these are the two things that are not provided inside your art kit. Now I would suggest flipping your papers over. Flip them over so that they're upside down. That way it can be kind of a surprise and it can be random. And I want you to try to draw nice big circles. Maybe a few can be a little bit smaller. If you need, you can use your containers as a template. So do you remember these were the paint containers that we used? Now, the problem with that is that they're only so big, right? So if you want to, you could go somewhere in your house and find maybe some other bigger circles, like a big bowl from the kitchen. Or you can just decide that it's okay if your circles aren't perfect and wrap. Okay, I'm gonna do a few more. Remember, if you make a mistake, that's why we're drawing on the back. It's not a big deal. No one will see it. Maybe, hmm, maybe I should do a circle and then do some rings around it. I can always go back in and draw those rings later. Okay, now I'm gonna speed up the video in just a moment. And I'm gonna cut all of these out. And remember, I speed up the video just so that you don't have to watch me cut. And remember, you can always pause the video if you're going a little bit slower, or fast forward if I am boring you and talking too much. But here, let me show you really fast. I kinda like that, that's a good planet. So one down, I'm gonna speed up the video and then we'll have Monday more. Okay, I have a whole bunch of planets. They're all cut out and they don't look too bad. I think that I could go back in and maybe have some fun uh, doing some touch-ups on some of these. For instance, this one has a lot of dark on it. So if something is very dark, you can always go in and brighten it up with some lighter colors. And if all else fails, you guys all have white. So you can always come back in and throw a little bit of white on top. And do you see how when you go back and forth over the same area, it lightens it up a little bit. All right. So. Just gonna add a little bit more and then I think I'm ready. Okay, so the next step is to glue our planets onto our big black piece of paper. Now, before we really make it permanent and glue it down, I would suggest laying out your planets how you want them. So I'm gonna have a few small planets, some big planets. Remember, you don't have to use every single planet that you made. You might decide, hmm, I don't really need another planet. I think I might just throw that off and Another thing you can do is take your planet and move it to the very edge and then glue it down and then you can cut off all that extra planet or leave it if you like it hanging off, that's fine. Now I am arranging these so that I'm leaving kind of a little space. Maybe I'll leave it right here. And that is where I'm going to put my spaceship. So if you're happy with how this looks, we're gonna set this to the side for now 
just move it over a little bit and we're going to turn our attention to our spaceship. And the reason we are not gluing this down yet is because we might change our mind later and glue makes it permanent. You can't move it around after the glue dries. So let's take our pencil and let's talk about how to draw this really cool spaceship. There's lots of different types of spaceships, okay? Um, one is a rocket and those are usually used to get away from your planet. So rockets take astronauts off into space and spaceships are a little bit different. They're shaped a little different and they're usually used for flying around in outer space. So you could do a rocket or a spaceship. I'm gonna show you how to do a rocket really fast. Now, when you're drawing with pencil, you wanna press lighter than what I was drawing or writing with it because if you make a mistake, you'll need to erase and dark lines are harder to erase. So I'm gonna start off with a point and then I'm going to bring my line down towards the bottom, but it's not gonna be straight. It's going to be a curvy line that goes out and away from the point. I'm gonna do the exact same thing on the other side. Next, I'm gonna do a curvy line for the bottom of my rocket. Now, sometimes a teacher makes mistakes. Do you see how my, the point of my rocket is a little off? So I can just kind of redo that, right? And this is why we draw with light lines and not dark lines like your teacher. I'm drawing with dark lines so that you guys can see it on the video but I don't want you to draw with dark lines. Okay, now I'm gonna put a little circle inside of my spaceship. This is where you can see the pilot of your spaceship. And then I'm going to put little tiny fins off to the side. So again, with a curved line and then another curved line and it ends in a point. Now guess what? I didn't draw this in the middle of my paper. So do you see how I ran out of room? So we have to imagine the rest of our rocket. So this isn't going to go on to my piece of paper because it is an incomplete rocket, which is not good. So make sure you're drawing in the middle of your paper so that you have lots of room. The other one I'm going to do is I'm gonna do a curvy line right underneath the center part of the window and I'm gonna bring two lines down to a point. And that is for the fin that is in the middle of our spaceship. We're just seeing it from a different angle. So there's my spaceship. Now, the cool thing about this spaceship is that you could do all sorts of fun things. You could add little nuts and bolts. You could add little lines. You could add USA on it. U S A. Whatever you want, you could do to your rocket. Now a spaceship is a bit different. I'm gonna draw a traditional saucer, like the flying saucers that you hear about. The first thing I'm going to do is draw a little curved line that looks kind of like a bowl. Then in the middle, I'm gonna do an up to upside down letter U, okay? Now once I have these two things, look at me drawing all silly like okay after i have these two things i'm going to do a few things i'm going to do another bowl to the end this is where the alien will live and i'm going to do a line that goes back and behind the center part do you see that how it goes back and behind and then connects the two points next i'm going to draw another bowl right underneath now, I could draw it right here and it would make it look a little bit too round in my opinion, or I could do something else that I think makes spaceships look a little bit cooler for flying saucers. I'm gonna bring two vertical lines coming down a little bit, do another curved line, and then I'm going to add the cockpit. And so there's two diagonal lines and then a curved line underneath. And there's my flying saucer. And inside, I'm going to put my little alien. So here's my little alien, dude. And 
let's see, he's gonna have some really cool antenna. There we go. So now, saucers would not be complete without a whole bunch of little lights and maybe panels and things like that, okay? And of course, underneath, gotta have all sorts of buttons and stuff. So once you have your spaceship or your rocket drawn out and you're happy with it, you can use oil pastels or if you really want, you could use paint and you're going to color in your spaceship. Now, you can use any color you want for spaceships. Um, usually spaceships are kind of of gray. Aliens, of course, can be any color you want. I'm gonna make this alien green, which seems to be a very traditional color for aliens, if you've ever watched a lot of alien movies. So I'm gonna make this guy green. Maybe add some different green accessories or details. Now, if you have like little pieces of oil pastel coming off. Just do this with your vapor, it comes right off, okay? No worries. Uh, let's see, I'm just gonna color in my alien. I'm gonna speed up the video so you don't have to watch me. And then we'll stop in just one moment. Okay, I'm gonna take a quick break in the video and I'm gonna show you a technique. When you put one color on top of another, it will make a new color. So I had black and I'm putting white on top and that is what's making my gray. So if you want a gray spaceship, this is a good way of doing it. Now, inside your little bubble, the cockpit of the spaceship, you can use blue and white and not a lot of blue, just a little bit and a whole bunch of white and it'll create that kind of glassy feel that you see inside my aliens cockpit right now. Now, once you are done coloring an area, you can put in the lines inside, sorry, the lines outside, the detail lines, the outlines to make your spaceship look even better, to make it pop. Okay, so I am just going to speed up the video again a little bit and finish up my little spaceship and then we'll cut it out and put it on and we're done. Okay, I have my spaceship. I'm gonna cut it out and then glue everything down and we're finished with our amazing solar system. I hope that you enjoyed coming up with what kind of a uh, ship your alien would be riding around the galaxy in or the solar system in. I think this is a pretty good looking alien ship. I think our aliens would be proud to be driving these guys. Okay, so I have mine all done. Now all I have to do is glue. And then, you know, I feel like there's something missing. Can you think of what might be missing? We're in outer space with a whole bunch of planets and stars, of course. Oh my goodness, I can't believe I forgot the stars. We better put some stars in there too. So. I'm gonna grab my glue, and this is something that we used in our last project, um, and we're going to use it once more, and we're gonna use quite a bit of a, 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 quite a bit of it, just like before, except this time, instead of really caking it on, we're gonna do the dot, dot, not a lot. So we're using our brush, and we can do dot, dot, not a lot, dot it all over the outside and the inside. So when you dot it on the outside, it helps all those edges stay down. But if you don't put any on the inside, it's gonna bubble. So I'm gonna put that 
on there. Just like before, you might have to hold it down for a little bit. You could count to 10. You could come up with names for your alien's planet, his home planet, and maybe come up with like some back history on that. Like what does your alien eat? What's its name? Does it have lots of friends? Or does it not have any friends because it lives in the deepest cave on his planet? And that's why he's out in the galaxy. He's looking for some friends because he's lonely. Okay? So you can come up with a little story with or for your alien, especially if you are holding something down and waiting for glue to dry. Because I think that is the most boring thing in the world, waiting for glue to dry. So I always try to come up with a fun game. That way I'm not so bored. All right, I'm gonna speed up the video again, glue everything down, and then we'll stop in just a second. Okay, now, my planets are not exactly glued down. Some of them are kind of coming up on the edges. Um, if you take your time and do a really good job, you won't have that problem. But I was rushing a little bit, so don't be like your teacher. Now, I was rushing because I wanted to show you how to draw these stars so that we can do that and then we can move on and be done. So, stars. You can use your white oil pastel and you can just dot on little tiny dots by kind of pushing hard and then wiggling it back and forth just a little bit. Sometimes you have to wiggle it a little bit more. You could make bigger stars. You could make a line and then a line crossing and two in there. Maybe that's a shining star. You could make a shooting star too, which is really fun. So I'm gonna put a shooting star kind of close to my alien. I'm gonna do a little dot and then I'm gonna do a few lines. So there's my shooting star. I'm gonna put all sorts of dots all over. And once I feel like I have enough sh stars, I can call it good. And I can also sign my name. So I'm gonna sign Miss Katie in oil pastels. So it stands out on the black. Now you could sign in a different color if you would like. That is absolutely fine. But I hope that you had fun. I hope that you enjoyed playing with our different colors, our warm colors and our cool colors, and coming up for with a very cool spaceship for your friend. Make sure your friend has a name. If you don't have one, you should brainstorm a little bit. I think mine was Zorg, if I remember correctly. So Zorg is flying through, looking for friends on all the planets in his solar system. So you have a wonderful rest of your day, and I will see you here again tomorrow morning for the very last session. And the very last session is my favorite, so I'm pretty excited to do some more art with you tomorrow. Have a good rest of your day. Bye. Thank you for watching this online program. Please help Garden City Arts thank these generous sponsors.